Okay, everybody, I have my comic book haul. would like to share it as I always like to do. It's not very big. It's going to probably be a quick, very, very quick uh, sharing of the comics. Um, it's just life gets in the way sometimes. You have responsibilities. You can't do as much comic book hunting as you want. And so my, my pile's not very big, but I wanted to continue to uh, share what I'm looking for and what I found. And we'll start off with uh, this comic here. Everything here is from a comic book store. There's maybe, I think, three of them. Uh, just looking around, just hunting uh, this past week. And uh, yeah, so here we go. Uh, we'll start off here with Sonic the Hedgehog number zero. I think this might be his first appearance in comics or with Archie. I don't really know too much about it. I know it's one of the earlier ones for sure. Uh, it was $5, Sonic the Hedgehog number zero. Why not and get it? A movie coming out. He's pretty popular. I'll just do it. Uh, found another one of these. Uh, the Black Widow, Marvel Knights, J.G. Jones variant. This, is, this one was $10. It's got the first uh, solo or uh, the new Black Widow story in it as well. This one was in a dollar bin, Cyber Frog number zero, uh, number one, excuse me, that's Cyber Frog number one from the 1996 Harris. Um, it's maybe worth like five bucks, but I uh, found it for a dollar, so that was exciting. Um, I've shown this one before, but uh, first appearance of Scream, when I see it for three dollars, I, I can't say no. Uh, this one was definitely a, a lower grade. It's got some issues. I don't know if you can see them in it, but it's, it's definitely got some spine dings and it's got a little dent up there. Uh, why it was $2. Uh, maybe a pressing. Uh, first appearance of Migo Chavez. Obviously, this is a $30 book that was in halfway decent condition. In this condition, I'm not really sure what it would be worth. It's definitely considerably less. I, I paid considerably less for it, but Vengeance number one, first appearance of um, Amigo Chavez or America, somebody or other, whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. It's it's her first appearance. Uh, that's always a good one. Uh, this book used to be back when X-23 was pretty popular, when the Logan movie came out. Um, what was super hot doesn't become hot, and then in the future it'll be hot again. So for $5 for the red uh, variant. Uh, I was like, heck yeah, I'll get them. And I got two of them for $5 a piece. I don't know what's going on. There were the longest time, sometimes you just get going and you just find the same book again and again and again and again. Uh, this is our Slayer, Log of the Jolly Roger, number two, first appearance of the Rocketeer. I found that in a dollar bin. Uh, I'll buy that all day in the dollar bin. Same thing with this one, which played number 10, first appearance of Darkness in the dollar bin. Same thing with this one, Supergirl, just the DCU logo, it's a dollar. I'll do that one all day at the dollar bin. Here's another dollar one. Uncanny X-Men, number 354, this is a variant, it's Jean Grey. Great cover, really, uh, but it's the variant cover. Dollar, why not? Uh, this one, three dollars, I was happy to see for three dollars. One, it has a $4.99 cover price, and I got it for three dollars. And it's a 1 in 50 variant, and it has Stargirl on the cover. So, um, Superman, New 52, number 38. Uh, it's, a, it's a cool cover, cool variant. Price was right, $3. I'll get it. Uh, she Sensational She-Hulk, number 15. First appearance of the Gray She-Hulk. Gray She-Hulk. Uh, just one I didn't have. It has a first appearance. I didn't want to miss out on it, so it's three dollars. Got it. Here's another one of the back issue bins I found for three dollars. Masters of Kung Fu number one twenty five. This is one I really, really wanted, and whenever I came across it, just because it's the last issue in the run, um, something about the last issues I just like collecting. Um, Whenever I found this one, it, they were always beat up. This one's actually has some minor issues, but for the most part, I'm very happy with it. And I'm happy to add that to my Master of Kung Fu collection. Uh, this one I found for cover, just to sit in there in the back of issue bins. X-23, number seven. Uh, it has somebody's first appearance. It's the variant. 
I remember it had some heat when it first came out. I don't think it's doing anything super exciting right now, maybe a 10 to $15 book on eBay. But when you get it for $4, why not? Here's one for a dollar. First solo story of Hercules. Hey, you never know. He might be in the uh, in the um, movie, Eternals movies. Uh, but it was a dollar. It's a great condition. Um, definitely a good buy, if you ask me. This one, this is my FOMO purchase, and I usually don't show new comics, but uh, I, I definitely have fear of missing out. It's stupid, I know. Uh, who cares? Wolverine has how many daughters? Here's another one. It's a third printing even. It's a $5 cover price, so I paid $5 for it. I paid cover, but um, I don't know. It's just a fear of missing out. Wanting to think there's one. This only one was the only one on the shelf. It's uh, just something. Had to get peace of mind, one of those things. This one I was happy to find. I always like adding to the Dave Stephen collection like any normal good comic book people are. Everyone likes Dave Stevens. Uh, this was a dollar. Dave Stevens cover. That's why. Uh, this one is definitely has issues. But it's uh, Giant Size Master of Kung Fu. Number three. It's a first appearance of somebody. I can't remember. Can't keep up with them all the time. But... Uh, it was $2 uh, for the condition it is, and for $2 it was fine. Heck, if, had, if, if they wanted $5 for it, I probably wouldn't have gotten it just because of, of, of the condition. Uh, it's hard to tell in the video, but it, it's fine, and on the, like, on the rover there it has an issue and stuff like that. Uh, this was uh, $5, Black Widow, uh, Deadly Origin number 2 variant. I thought it was a good buy, so I got that one. And I told you it was going to be short and sweet, my last one, back on the X-23 kick. Um, this one back when the Logan movie was out, it was $50 all day long. I was never going to pay that. Heck, I've almost paid $25.30 for it uh, several times. Kept looking, kept looking, really wanted to pay as little as possible, but wanted to find it. Yes, this one I paid $15 for, but uh, I felt that was a good price for something I really wanted. Um, at that price, it wouldn't be flippable or anything like that, but for the collection and wanting it, it's, 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 it's a deal. Um, it's not a steal, it's a deal. And so I was happy with it. And that was, this is my haul for the last, uh, for the last week. Hope you enjoyed it, and thank you so much.